What's up everybody, Ted Forbes here from The Art of Photography. I feel like I haven't done a video in days, probably because I haven't done a video in days. I've had to pull back this week and tie up another project that I've been working on. And many of you are familiar with the artist series that I'm doing this year. And if you're not, this is a series of short films on living photographers that I'm producing. And I've released the first three of them. And then there's six more that have been filmed already, but I'm working on the editing right now. This was a crowdfunding project that I did last year that was really successful. And I'm really excited about this because what I'm working on this week is starting to do the reward fulfillment for people who donated at various levels. And so I'm going to incorporate some of that into the show and show you guys what I'm working on because I'm getting to do some prints for that and I'm going to be making some photograms as well probably next week. So I'm going to share some of that process with you guys. I'm really excited about it. But I want to do a quick video today and share with you um, this package that came in the mail. And this is from a Slovakian photographer. His name is Lukas Prochaska. I hope I pronounced that right, Lukas Prochaska. And Lukas uh, sent me this. This is really nice. This is a little book that he made. And it's a very personal and really beautiful little project. And I want to share it with you guys on the show. I'm not going to share the whole letter because it's somewhat personal. But um, basically, he's 21 years old. And he discovered the show and has been watching it for a number of years now, uh, like most people or a lot of people did through the uh, tutorials I did on how to develop film. And so he has sent me this handmade book and I love it when people make things with their hands. I think that's really cool. And so anyway, um, what I want to do is share this with you and I want to thumb through here, but basically um, the premise of this project was something he did when his grandfather passed away last year. And he says it's about materialistic things and emotional boundaries we have with them. And so what I want to do is I want to read you the translation of the text and I want to just thumb through here. So this reads, a portrait without a portrait, a worn out jacket, a chair with a stain of ink, tools years not tended to, a house engulfed in ivy. Objects and photographs could be replaced by their modern equivalents, so they are expendable, yet we hang on to them stronger than we hang on to our own dreams. Why? Why can't we let them go? Why do they mean much more than they should? Are we frightened by the emotional bond between us and them, the creation of which we may not be able to imagine between us and another human being? Or do they hold the last traces of our emotions and we're terrified of the possibility that should they disappear, so will our memories? Each and every object captures and portrays aspects of our being tying into the next one, much like pieces of a puzzle creating a grand image. My whole life during visits to my grandparents, these details spoke to me. All the objects, colors, scents, all part of their delicate personalities, telling us the tale of these two people. I can imagine grandma or grandpa without these objects, yet they remain the same grandparents I know. However, I cannot fathom a single one of these objects without them. As far as I remember, nothing in the house has changed. It influenced me to a certain degree, and perhaps that is the reason I pursue photography. It has always fascinated me how life in this house had stopped, yet continued, and how it had stayed in motion while remaining perfectly motionless. The photography offers exactly the same to me. It captures a moment, a thought within, but the story continues outside its frame. With each visit to my grandparents, I had the feeling of returning to an isolated world, to a singular reality, the boundaries of which exist outside of time and space, just like photography. It is always a portrait, although it doesn't have to capture a face. For me, these photographs are a way to pay respects to my grandparents. I have isolated their lives into photographs so they can always be an important part of my life. Anyway, I think this is a beautiful little project and I want to thank Lucas for sending this to me to share with you guys. And this makes me think of this, you know, last month I did a video called Nobody Cares About Your Photography. And it was somewhat controversial in a sense, mainly because of the title. And I meant what I said in that, it can be boiled down to this, nobody cares about your photography but they do care about work that matters and you need to make work that matters. And this, my friends, is work that matters. This is a very small, it's a very personal project, but it is something that means something. Um, and it's something that I wanted to share with you guys. And this is, I think this should be inspirational. It certainly is for me. Get out there and make something. It doesn't matter how big or how small. In fact, start small. Start somewhere and make something that matters. And this is a prime example of that. Anyway, I will link up to Lucas's website in the show description, so be sure to check that out. And uh, I think he's a fabulous photographer and I really appreciate him sending this to me. If you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to like it, share it, and subscribe to The Art of Photography so you'll be up to date on all the latest and greatest. I have more videos coming out this week and next week. I'm going to document some of my process with printmaking. And until the next video, I'll see you guys then. Later.